Hi, this is Paolo, and today I'm going to show you how we can create a full body morph while using the weld option when exporting an OBJ file. In a previous video, I demonstrated how that option basically rips apart your geometry once you import the morph. Well, that is just if you use the default settings. Turns out there are different settings that allow you to work with welded geometry, opening the door to the option of creating full body morphs that can span the border between the sub-objects of a geometry. Let me explain how it works. Let's take um, Aiko 4 again. And Aiko is a morph of the original Victoria 4.2 mesh. So when we load it, we are basically loading the same mesh, but already morphed. Now, we are going to export Aiko from here. And in normal situations, this will just create a geometry that is split in sub-objects. So basically, if we move just the cursor here, you see these are the sub-objects, like our shoulder, our collar, neck, head, etc. Now, if you bring this in Blender with a normal default using the standard options, this geometry will be split in separate objects. If you try to push or pull those vertices right there at, at the edge of the boundaries, then you'll be ripping the geometry. And so I found a, a workaround. Let's zero the pose first thing. So we go to zero, zero figure pose. All right, that takes care of the feet. And let's just export this mesh the way it is, no changes. As we did before, if we apply this mesh as a morph to the original Victoria 4.2, we should go back to the Aiko shape. So let's start. File, export. I have a directory here called Toots for tutorials. And let's use a name of A4 Welded. Here the options I have are slightly different. Ignore visible, invisible nodes, as usual, and now I'm going to use the bone welds. In the advanced tab, we have the usual settings, similar to the previous example, the previous video. So, accept. Saving, saving, saving. Okay, now we have our OBJ file on disk which is just a representation of the Aiko 4 morph. All right, let's clear the scene. And this time, let's load Victoria. And the idea here is basically that if we load Victoria and we apply the OBJ that we just saved as a morph using Morph Loader Pro, that morph should give us the original Aiko 4 shape. In the previous example, that attempt basically ripped, exploded the geometry. All right, let's take a look. Now, edit. Morph Loader Pro, you cannot do this with Morph Loader. This is a one of the features specific of the Pro version. Let's choose the file. Let's go back to Toots. Here it is. And now pay attention to the options. Let's open this subtree. In DAS Studio Exported, we say yes open this subtree, use bone weld. Here is the secret. Say yes again. Okay. And at this point, we can use Aiko for welded. Let's just create a, no a name that is a little more significant. 
except uh, this is a fairly long operation, considering that Victoria is more than 68,000 vertices. So let's fast forward again. Good sign, loading morph A4 welded, created morph successfully, all good, but will it work? And it does. It does perfectly. So what that means is that now we can load that geometry in Blender. So let's call Blender. Let's import WebFront OBJ. Here we're going to go to this directory, take A4 welded OBJ, one, two, and three. All right. This is our model. Now, if I click on the model, press tab go to edit mode and let's select the object options let me deselect all the vertices all right and let's select a group for example the head all right select that highlights all the vertices. Now if I move it, you can see that the head is connected with all those vertices to the neck. So it's not a separate object, which is good. Let's undo this. Okay. Now we can take this body and apply some transformations here let's uh, shrink a little bit do something extreme just to see that the morph works okay oops too much I want extreme but not terrible okay okay there you go Something like this. <laughs> Even though it's really pushing, actually pulling the vertices a lot, we still see that they are connected correctly. So let's export this mesh, file, export, wavefront, same directory. And we're going to use the name of A4 welded to dot obj. Export it. We don't need the materials. We don't need the edges. Export. So let's switch to Dev Studio and now see if that full body morph works. Let's start again with Victoria 4.2 and let's fast forward. Okay, again, edit, Morph Loader Pro and we'll select our welded to object with the extreme deformation. Open the options, select yes on Des Studio exported drop down the list in the used bone welds we changed that to yes again accept wait for the morph to load and see the result okay and let's apply the morph and again everything is where we expected it to be there is this extreme deformation that is exactly what we applied in Blender 
and there is no ripping of the geometry. So we solved the problem of exporting a geometry that is completely welded, being able to deform it freely, and then import it back with that parameter, only available thanks to the brilliance of the people who coded the Morph Loader Pro. Well, I hope this was helpful. See you next time.